What is up, YouTube? I am the original Renaissance man, Devon Da Vinci, and um, I'm gonna be reacting to this. This is the follow up of the last video that I did of the top 10 female vocalists. This is the top 10 male vocalists. Um, I've had a lot of people in the comment section on the other video, and they gave me some great ideas for uh, some possible future lists I can do. Like maybe I can break down into genres and look at top 10 male and females in specific genres. Um, this will also open up my eyes to different musicians that I probably weren't really paying attention to because I don't really know a lot about the genre. And it may get you guys into some new people as well. Um, uh, sadly, I wanted to uh, just say real quick before uh, I get into this, the last video I did with the female vocalist um, at the beginning, I let a, I gave you guys a message about Aretha Franklin and how she was in failing health and uh, how you should um, send your uh, thoughts, uh, sympathies, um, messages of support, and uh, ways that she has impacted you in your life and things like that. Um, well, sadly, she just recently passed away. Uh, as a matter of fact, she passed away today the day that I'm recording this video. I'm not sure if it'll come out today or not. Hopefully it does. Um, but if it doesn't, she died the day I was recording this video. Um, so I hope you guys had a chance to, you know, say goodbye and everything else and, you know, just show her how much she meant to you as a singer, as a role model, as a, even a civil rights activist, um, everything. And let's go ahead and check out this male vocalist uh, list. And if you guys agree with it, make sure you let me know. And I'll leave comments during and after. <clears throat> let's jump into it. <clears throat> Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 male vocalists. You'll take my life, but I'll take yours too! For this list, we've chosen our male singers based on a combination of the quality of the voice, vocal range, recognition, and popularity. Number 10, Peter Gabriel. Phil Collins may have proven his singing skills after he took over as vocalist in 1975. But it was with Peter Gabriel that Genesis first made their mark. While the British artist showed he was an excellent frontman with his flute playing and theatrical bravado, it was the way he used his voice on the band's early material and later as a successful solo artist that lands him here. Number nine. Right. Uh, I don't know too much about Peter Gabriel. Um, of course, I know about Phil Collins. And um, I guess if I heard some music, I probably would recognize him. Um, I just don't know him by name. I can't associate with a certain song. So if you guys know any type of Peter Gabriel song that you think I should check out, um, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Stevie Wonder. Now, I know a lot about Stevie Wonder. This American artist has been honing his singing skills since he was a little boy. In fact, Stevie Wonder was 11 when he signed with his first record label. Known for his vocal harmonies and melodies. This soul music legend has earned dozens of number ones on the pop and R&B charts. I just call to say I love you. Plus, he doesn't only write and produce his own music, he also plays multiple instruments. Gotta get jazzy with it. Number eight, Elton John. Does anybody else have any Disney songs on their uh, playlist because of Elton John? I don't give a damn. I will let you guys know. <clears throat> I, I play some of the hardest shit I can possibly play when I'm working out. But whenever I'm trying to just relax and feel good, I play songs that, you know, put you in a good mood. And I don't give a damn. Um, Circle of Life, uh, Can You Feel the Love Tonight, uh, like all that stuff. I, all of it's on my playlist. 
Judge me if you want to. I am who I am. I come as I am. Pause. In addition to his successful decades-long songwriting partnership with Bernie Taupin, but it's no sacrifice. No sacrifice. Elton John is also a skilled composer, pianist, and producer. Blue <laughs> she said penis. Baby's got blue eyes. But it's his vocal chops that have got our vote. Ranging from tenor to baritone, the Englishman isn't afraid to give it his all when it comes to performing. Whether it's on his studio albums or on stage, Sir Elton knows exactly how to put on a good show. Man, you just don't hear music like this no more. Like music that actually in evokes like emotions and not just like get hype emotions. I'm talking about stuff that actually makes you feel stuff that you would normally feel from like reading books and stuff or watching certain types of movies. Um, it's not really like that anymore. It's like everybody's focused on trying to make that club beat. And like my playlist mostly has like nothing like that. Some of my workout lists might have something like that, but that's the reason I'm trying to get into that state of mind. Um, <clears throat> Man, I just, so if you guys want me to react to certain, like, rap songs and stuff like that, probably, chances are I probably won't do it because I'm not, like, I'm a, I'm really, like, I'm a stickler when it comes to music, and I will call your shit out as being stupid and just bad. I will I will get, say you have a bad taste in music if you ask me to react to some stuff, and it turns out, like, fucking Lil Yachty or something like that. Number seven, Robert Plant. While this rock god enhanced Led Zeppelin's repertoire with his lyrical contributions, Been dazed and confused, so long it's not true. I want that a warm, a warm, a warm, a warm, a It was his emotional and bluesy vocal range that was simply unrivaled. And when combined with Jimmy Page's incomparable guitar solos, it was a match made in hard rock heaven. Oh, something else. Something else. Thanks to his energy, dance moves, and sex appeal, Robert Plant really came alive in concert and was especially famous for his onstage moans and screams. Uh, uh, Thought I saw uh, Matt fly by me or something. Uh, Number six, Marvin Gaye. A man who needs no introduction. Like how sweet it is. And I heard it through the grapevine. Is it any wonder Marvin Gaye was called the Prince of Motown? Even after breaking away from the label, he found the courage to switch up his musical direction and lyrical themes. I'm jealous of anybody that can grow a beard that easily. You saw how clean he looked when he had a shave cut, and then when he grows a beard, he still looks like like a decent, charming dude. I wish I was like that. I can't grow beards. If I try to grow beards, my shit would look like fucking the dude from I want, uh, Don't Be a Menace to South Central. Like I look like Marlon Wayans. That's what the hell I look like if I try to grow my beard all the way out. With his three-octave vocal range, Gay was undoubtedly one of the most soulful and smoothest singers ever. Let's get Let's get Number five, Bruce Dickinson. While seamlessly melding his showmanship with Iron Maiden's theatrical live shows, Bruce Dickinson wowed critics and fans alike with a range that reached practically operatic proportions. Eyes, 
So it's no wonder he received such a massive number of your votes and lands on our list. I don't know a lot about Iron Maiden. I was never really, uh, really into like that type of music, like metal music and stuff. But I will be checking this stuff out. That just his voice alone was like, hey, wait a minute, let me go ahead and check. I'm gonna have to uh, re-update my workout playlist. His vocal prowess on the number of the beast gave the band their first UK chart topper. Let me know and your best Iron Maiden workout songs. The stuff that gets you hyped. He also paved the way for future power metal vocalists and helped Iron Maiden spearhead the new wave of British metal. Number four, Ray Charles. Inspired by jazz, blues, R&B, and country. This old sweet song keeps Georgia home, my mind. This pioneer of soul music was so talented, he found success across multiple genres. Watch your side! It's the way he used his voice, which allows him to sing in baritone, tenor, and sometimes even falsetto, that continues to astound. Tell your mama, tell your pa, gonna sing it back to I right now. Whether he was shouting, howling, or harmonizing, Ray Charles was a master of his voice. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you guys. Michael fucking Jackson. God damn it. Michael fucking Jackson. Yes. Michael fucking Jackson. Number three, Michael Jackson. That's my entire commentary. It Just watch. wasn't for nothing that Michael Jackson became one of the most famous and successful entertainers ever. I'm gonna watch this whole entry just like this. Just take note of his unique style, unmatched creativity, passion for music, groundbreaking dance moves, and innovative short films. I'm oh, sorry, put my hands down. Sorry. However, he also stood out for his singing and songwriting abilities. Which allowed him to craft and perform hits in genres like pop, rock, soul, R&B, and more. Let's not forget his evolving vocal style, which included his early soprano, unmistakable falsetto, and high tenor. Number two, Elvis Presley. The king of rock and roll. <laughs> Flaunting good looks, sexy dance moves, and a rebellious image. Elvis Presley amped his country and blues rock roots with electric guitars to become the king of rock and roll. But he wouldn't be the icon he is without his versatile, emotional, and unmistakable voice. His ability to capture the power and variety of R&B and gospel music ensured that he had something for everybody and helped him become the best-selling solo artist ever. This is probably my favorite performance from Elvis right here. Favorite Elvis song of all time? Leave it in the comment section down below. Um, I really like, I'm a really a fan of his cover of uh, My Way. I think that he pretty much made that song his. Sorry, Frank, but I gotta give it to Elvis. Before we hand the mic to our number one pick, 
Here are a few honorable mentions. One more quick pause. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of the Beatles. I mean, I do like them. I enjoy some, uh, their music. But um, Hey Jude is definitely my favorite Beatles song of all time. And there wasn't that. And sadly, I think, uh, I'm sorry, I got to say it. I like Michael Jackson's cover of Come Together. I did. He 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 killed that shit. I'm I'm sorry. Even though it, I mean at the time when they came out for the Beatles, I'm sure it sounded amazing. But when Michael did it, I had to give it to him. Yeah, Soundgarden. I love this song, my favorite Soundgarden song. I remember when this first came out. The music video scared the shit out of me. <laughs> the damn creepy ass faces and melting dolls and stuff. Of course. Freddie Mercury. Who else could it have been? With his big personality, lively stage presence, and knack for writing some of the greatest rock melodies oh, ever. Let me stop tapping my foot. I might be shaking the camera. Freddie Mercury no was definitely one of the greatest frontmen rock has ever seen. Cause we and then, are his voice. the champions. Boasting a range that reached four octaves. Oh, Let me stop singing. I'm disrespecting the legend. It's no surprise Queen flawlessly straddled genres like rock opera, heavy metal, progressive rock, pop, R&B, and more. And alongside Brian May's guitar abilities, Mercury really poured his heart and soul into his performances and helped the band sell out stadiums worldwide. Check out my reaction to uh, Queen's performance at Live Aid. I'll leave a link or a card somewhere in this uh, video. more top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Hey, if you hear, if you're at a karaoke or anything like that, and you hear anybody play any of these types of songs and, and they look like they about to get on stage and do some bullshit... Do me a favor. Walk up there and slap the shit out of them. I mean, slap the hell out of them. And trust me, don't worry about it. I will take care of you. I will pay your medical bills. All you have to do is beat the crap out of them. Anyway, that has been this reaction. Um, I, I when, when I look at the artist specifically, I'll let you know about some of my favorite songs and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next video. I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, if you did, make sure you like, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. Leave comments down below for if you think somebody should have been on this list, or if you agree with it. Let me know some songs that some of these people made that you feel like I should really get into. I mean, some artists artists are obvious. You don't have to recommend anything from Michael Jackson. I already know everything, but uh, some other artists uh, recommend some songs that you might think I would enjoy, so I can check it out i need to update my playlist anyway that has been this reaction i will move on to the next one i hope to see you guys there this is the original rhythm of man devon da vinci signing out deuces